Welcome to We On Podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore China's bold plan to link Earth and the Moon with a futuristic communications superhighway. Scientists have unveiled an ambitious roadmap to build network infrastructure between the two celestial bodies, aiming to make space travel more efficient and connected. According to researchers from the China Academy of Space Technology, CAST, and the Beijing Institute of Spacecraft System Engineering, the proposed network will include three lunar ground stations and 30 satellites. This infrastructure will provide global users with real-time communication, navigation, and monitoring services. The goal is to enable 20 or more space travelers to communicate simultaneously with Earth through audio, images, or video. The network will also offer precise positioning, navigation, and timing. PNT, during travel between Earth and the Moon, as well as support surface operations on the lunar terrain. Moreover, the system is designed to monitor and track moving targets within cislunar space, the region between Earth and the Moon, even if the objects are as small as one meter. These details were published in the June edition of the journal Chinese Space Science and Technology. Cislunar space has become a new frontier for human activities said Yang Mengfei, chief designer of China's Chang'e 5 mission. Space activities in this region are set to expand rapidly over the next decade, driving a new round of global competition. The team emphasized that competition for orbital slots and radio frequencies is already underway and will only intensify in the future. They stressed the urgent need for China to establish a comprehensive roadmap to develop infrastructure in cislunar space and gain a strategic edge in this emerging sector. Cislunar space encompasses the area between Earth and the Moon, including satellite orbits around Earth and the orbital path of the Moon itself. As China emerges as a major player in deep space and lunar exploration, strategic planning is vital to avoid redundant construction and ensure efficient use of resources for upcoming missions. This planning includes crewed lunar landings, exploration of the outer solar system, and the construction of an international lunar research station. While the US, Europe, and Japan have similar plans, none have been implemented so far. China, the researchers noted, now has a unique opportunity to secure a significant share in the rapidly developing cislunar space economy. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.